Hi everyone, welcome to the CD Cave. I'm Jack Burial. Today I'm back with another video in my series, What's in My Collection. Today I'll be featuring one of my favorite bands of all time, Kansas. Um, I have quite a few and I'll also be showing um, some of the solo projects from uh, a couple of the members of the band, former singers. So, uh, we'll start off, I, I, I tried to put them in some type of order, so we'll see how it goes. So the first one, the debut, which is a great debut. A lot of great songs on this. Uh, I love the artwork too, which is an actual uh, painting. I can't remember who the painter was, but uh, Can I Tell You is a great song. Uh, Lonely Wind, my favorite off the album. Uh, the Pilgrimage is also good. It's from 1974. Yeah, this is a great uh, debut. Next, a song for America. Another great album. Uh, I really don't think Kansas ha has any really bad albums. A uh, couple, couple weaker ones, but that's about it. Uh, Down the Road's a great, great rocker uh, with some great uh, violin on there. Uh, song for America is a great song. Uh, Lonely Street, The Devil Game. Yeah, from 1975. Yeah. Song for America. Next, Mask. Which is uh, one that uh, took me a little longer to get into than some of the others. Uh, sometimes uh, this one's a little underrated. It, uh, it takes a woman's love. Uh, Two cents worth is really good. Uh, Icarus, uh, All Over the World, Child of Innocence, Mystery and Mayhem, The Pinnacle, yeah, also from 1975. This is the thing, back in the 70s, a lot of these bands were putting out albums like you know, at least two albums a year, if not more sometimes. It was crazy compared to today. Mask. And Kansas was no exception. Uh, their, their first 10 years, they, they put albums uh, pretty quick. Uh, next, my favorite, Left Overture. Great artwork on this, too. One of my favorite uh, albums as far as uh, artwork. All the songs I hear are classics. Carry on my wayward son, the wall, what's on my mind, miracles are nowhere is a, is a great, great song. Uh, Questions of my childhood, Cheyenne Anthem, and uh, finish it off with uh, Magnus Opus. What a way to finish off an album from 1976, Left Overture. Next, Point of No Return. Another uh, great album and a great follow up to. Left Overture. This too is full of great songs. Uh, Dust in the Wind, uh, Lightning Hand, uh, the title track, uh, Portrait, The Spider, uh, Sparks in the Tempest, Nobody's Home, 1977. Um, I think it was three years ago. Uh, I went to see the new lineup play and um, saw them in Montreal. And um, they were actually... Uh, touring on this for this album they played this whole album uh, and then they played stuff from uh, other albums but they, they played this album and uh, every song off of this and uh, it was a really really great show next monolith this one too has a uh, <clears throat> great artwork uh, on the other side it's a great opener, People of South Wind, which was a single off this. Uh, Angels Have Fallen, uh, A Glimpse of Home, uh, Stay Out of Trouble, Reason to Be, from 1979. Yeah, another great uh, Candace album. Then we'll go to the last one from uh, that Steve uh, Walsh did with them. Uh, for a while anyways, he would return later, but uh, was Audio Vision, which is another one of my favorites. One that I still listen to quite a bit today. I really, really enjoy this album. Always have. I've also uh, always liked the uh, the sound of it, the way it's recorded, the production. Uh, Relentless, Anything for You, uh, Hold On, Loner, Curtain of Iron is a great song. Yeah, 
Don't open your eyes. No one together. No room for a stranger. From 1980. Yeah. Great album. Next would bring in the new singer, John Alafonte. And uh, with Final Confessions. A lot of the material on this was already written. And you can actually find demos with Steve Walsh singing some of the songs from this. Uh, John LaFonte, uh, great singer in his own right. Uh, Play the Game Tonight, a great song. Right Away, Ferris Chains, uh, Chasing S uh, Shadows, Face It, one of my favorite songs on here, Windows, uh, Borderline, Crossfire, from 1982. Yeah. This too is a good Candace album. Next, we go to the second one that uh, John LaFonte did, which is a bit more poppy, uh, Drastic Measures. Um, still a good album, just doesn't sound like Kansas all that much. It sounds more like a pop type Kansas. Uh, I don't think there's any uh, violins on here at all. I think it's all uh, synths and keyboards and stuff. Uh, Fight Fire with Fire is good. Uh, Everybody's My Friends, pretty good. Andy, uh, Get Rich, Don't Take Your Love Away, yeah. Innocence on a Bridge. From 1983. See, it's, it's a good album. It, it's just it's uh, one of the ones that doesn't sound so much like Kansas. I find uh, more of a, a pop commercial sound to it, but uh, still a fairly good album. Then they would reunite with Steve Walsh and put out Power, which is a really good uh, album. Uh, Carrie Livgren had left at this point. He'd be no longer with the band. Um, Silhouettes in Disguise, really good. Power, All I Wanted. Uh, You're Not Alone Anymore. Taken in the View. Three Pretenders is, is a great song. Can't Cry Anymore. Yeah, another great album here from 1986. This is another Ken song that I listen to quite a bit still today. Next, more of our, another commercial album from them, In the Spirit of Things. Some really good songs on here too, but a bit more commercial. They tried to go a bit more commercial on this one. Uh, Ghost is a really good opening track. One Big Sky, Inside of Me, uh, One Man, One Heart, uh, Once in a Lifetime, uh, Stand By and Beside Me, A Counter on Love, The Preacher, my favorite song on here. Uh, Rainmaker, Bells of St. James, 1988. Yeah, a lot of ballads on this one. Uh, but uh, still a good album. Uh, very enjoyable. Next, Freaks of Nature. Yeah, some good songs on here too. Love the artwork on here too. Uh, I Can Fly is a really good opening song. Uh, Desperate Time, uh, Hope Once Again is also a good song. Uh, Black Phantom, Under the Knife, uh, Freaks of Nature is also good. Yeah, Peaceful and Warm is uh, really good too. This one here is from uh, 1995. Uh, they rocked a little bit more on this one. But good album. I say that Kansas doesn't really have any bad albums, well, as far as I'm concerned. Next would be a reunion album, Somewhere to Elsewhere. Carol Lindgren would uh, come back on here. Not as good as I expected it to be. Uh, still a good lesson, but um, I thought it might be better uh, considering all the original members were back. Uh, Robbie Steinhardt also on this, Carol Lindgren, Dave Hope, uh, Billy Grill, Phil E. Hart, Steve Walsh, and uh, Richard Williams. It's from uh, 2000. But there's some good songs on here. Uh, when the World Was Young, uh, Grand Funk Alley, um, Look at the Time, a Distant Vision. Uh, yeah, it's a fairly good album. I just thought it would be better uh, considering I um, had all the main writers back and stuff, but still a great CD. Next, we go with the Change of Singer again, uh, The Prelude Implicit. Which I do enjoy. Uh, 
I did see this lined up live and it did fairly well. Uh, Wished his heart, uh, visibility zero, the unsung heroes, rhythm and the spirit, uh, summer, crowded isolation is good. Yeah, from 2016. Yeah. Also love the artwork. Yeah. Another good album. Next, the absence of presence. I do listen to this one quite a bit. Very enjoyable. A lot of good songs on here. Yeah. Uh, to try to remember the songs. Yeah, Throw Mountains is really good. Uh, Jets Overhead is a really, really good song. Uh, Memories Down the Line is pretty good. Circus of Illusions. Yeah. The song The River Sang is pretty good. Yeah, not a bad album. Some good songs on here. Yeah. Next we'll go with uh, Live at the Whiskey. Really good live album. Single CD. I'm not sure if there ever was a double CD of this one, but uh, Howling at the Moon is a great opening song. Um, Paradox, Point of No Return, Song for America, The Wall, Hold On is really great on this. Dust and Wind, uh, Down a Row is also really, really good. And, uh, there's a bonus track, Lonely Street, on here too from 1992. This is a pretty good live CD. And next I have a uh, greatest hits of theirs called the best of Kansas. That's pretty much the biggest hits on here. Carry on my wayward son, point of no return, fight fire with fire. Excuse me. Dust in the wind, song for America, perfect lover, the wall, play the game tonight. Yeah, pretty good CD too. So that's it for my CD uh, collection from Kansas. Uh, I do have some uh, solo albums uh, that I'm going to put in part of this collection. Um, we'll start with um, Steve Walsh and then uh, we'll go to John Elefante. I have a Shadow Man from Steve Walsh, which um, Oops. It's also a pretty good CD. Finest Solo stuff is pretty good. This one comes in with a advertising card. Yeah, pretty good CD. This one here has some really good songs on it. Uh, has Rise, Shadow Man, uh, Keep on Knocking, Pages of Old, The River, Dark Day, from two thousand and five. Yeah, Shadow Man, it's pretty good. His debut as a solo is uh, really, really good. Yeah. Schemer's Dreamer. Might still be his best as far as the solo albums. Um, yeah, Get Too Far is really good, Sony Nights. Every step of the way, just how it feels. Wait until tomorrow. It's from 2004. Yeah. A lot of different uh, artists on this one. Uh, Phil E. Hart is on here from Kansas. K Carrie Lindgren is also on here. Uh, Rich Williams is also on here. Yeah. Quite the artwork on this one, too. Next, Glossolania. I think it's how it's pronounced. This one too has quite uh, the artwork on here. But uh, a good album here too. Uh, Heart Attack is really good. Uh, Haunted Man is really good. Yeah. Really weird uh, drawings and that in here. Um, yeah. Mascara Tears is pretty good. It's from the year 2000. 
And uh, next we go to uh, John Elefante, which uh, I have uh, on my way to the sun, which is a really good listen. This one uh, hits the player pretty often. Uh, I like every song on here. Uh, this is how the story goes is good. Uh, Where have all the old days gone? Uh, the title track is good. The Awakening. Uh, Half the Way Home. Don't Hide Away. Confess. Yeah. From 2013. This is a really good CD. John Alafonte. Next, Defying Gravity. Just kind of cool artwork here, too. Another great album. Uh, if You Just Believe. Uh, Past the Flame is good. The Stream. Uh, give It All Away. Uh, don't Leave the Band. Uh, Home With A View. Yeah, another great album. He doesn't uh, have any bad albums either. John LaFonte, they're all good. Next, Corridors, which was the first one I picked up from John LaFonte. The CDs all have a, a Christian theme to them. Uh, that's pretty much what he writes about these days. Um, Corridors is good. Uh, Treasures of Heaven. I know you're there. Uh, Fall is good. Talk to me. Uh, where does our love go? From 1997. Yeah. Another great album by John Lafonte. And the last one that I have to show today is uh, Windows of Heaven. This one here is more mellow one. Tell a great listen. So it doesn't rock as much as his other ones. Um, Hello, my good friend is good. The title track is also good. Uh, yeah, what if the world is also good? Uh, we'll find our way is also good. Yeah, John Alfante. And I also had a couple albums, uh, a couple of CDs uh, from the band in the streets. Uh, which features uh, Steve Walsh in it. I did not put them part of this because they're a band uh, type thing. So, uh, but I also do have those as part of kind of the Kansas collection. So that's it for my Kansas uh, collection. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it wasn't too, too long. Uh, so until next time, take care of yourselves.